hello from the studios at Pasqua Bravo University. I am Gary Vernier and this is South American News Report. There are no luxuries in the four-room house in southern Bogota where 12 recently arrived Venezuelans huddled on thin mattresses under even thinner blankets to ward off the Andea mountain chill. They have no hot water, and what few furnishings they have were salvaged by a nearby dump. They work 12-hour shifts at car washes or kitchens, earning between $6.50 and $13 a day. Because most do not have work permits, they are under constant threat of deportation. But life here is better than what they left back home in Venezuela, said Paula Gonzalez, 21 years old, who arrived in Bogota in mid-June. At least now, a day of work allows us enough to eat and even send some money back home, she says. In Venezuela, we couldn't get by. As Venezuela falls further into a humanitarian disaster of economic collapse and political repression, more of its citizens are fleeing to other countries. In the past, many Venezuelans headed to rich countries like the U.S. and Spain. But the latest wave of migrants are increasingly choosing to stay in Latin America. After Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez's death in 2013 from cancer, Nicolas Maduro was elected to succeed him as president. Since then, the situation in Venezuela has deteriorated dramatically with triple-digit inflation, snaking food lines, shortages of medical supplies, and vicious repression against the opposition. For many leaving Venezuela, the easiest destination to reach is Colombia, just across a largely unprotected border. The Association of Venezuelans in Colombia reckons there are about 1.2 million Venezuelans now living in Colombia, a country of 45 million inhabitants and Colombia's government is bracing for more. Not long ago, the fortunes were reversed. Venezuela took in millions of Colombians during the 1970s and 1980s, when Venezuela was riding an oil boom and political stability, while Colombia was trapped between narco-terror and a rebel insurgency. Today, Colombia is steadier politically and economically than its neighbors, but officials say it lacks the financial and social resources to be able to respond to large numbers of immigrants. In addition to Colombia, Venezuelans are fleeing also to Brazil, Trinidad and Tobago, Panama, the Dominican Republic, Argentina, and Peru. The Peruvians have received us marvelously, said a Venezuelan migrant who worked as a lawyer in Caracas, but in Lima makes a living by selling traditional Venezuelan candy. In February, Peru introduced a special visa, allowing Venezuelans already in the country to study, apply for jobs, and get a bank account and access health services for up to one year. Some 6,000 Venezuelans were granted the visa and another 4,000 applicants are still awaiting approval, said Peru's immigration superintendent, Eduardo Sevilla. Argentina has also made it easy for Venezuelans to obtain a work permit. The number of Venezuelans starting a new life in Argentina has increased exponentially since Maduro took office, 
Since last year, the number of arrivals has risen by almost 250%. This has been a South American News Report. Good day. Alcaldía de Medellín, cuenta con vos.